Kev, you're looking at uh, the team's penalty kill. I know there was one against last night, but over the last handful of games, it seems like you guys are really kind of finding your stride there. Is that fair to say? Yeah, we try to work on the details uh, because it's important. So our stru structure was uh, like pretty good. So uh, effort always was there. Need, like always need a couple saves from the goalies. But in general, I think we're doing a pretty good job. Louis talked about finding the right times to pressure the puck. It's obviously you always want to do it, but how important is it to pressure at the right times with the current system? Yes, exactly. So we've got to be ready to jump like uh, and require like all four guys to do exact same moment. So yeah, it, you got to just feel the game and read the game when you got to just title down and when you got to jump hard. Does the opponent kind of dictate how often you pressure on the penalty kill or, or the ways that you do it if it's a team that maybe moves the puck a little bit quicker versus one who's a little bit more methodic? Uh, no, it's like uh, it's got to be like uh, pressure read anyway. So if the puck bubbling or like after a shot, we can uh, jump and press them. Yes, if they look right like through the like run someplace, so probably not a good time to do that. So it's like more of the read situation. Gavi, you've raised your game, obviously, in Drew's absence. Um, how much is it, is it also, how, how big has Mikey been as well in terms of being one to also raise his game while, while you guys make yeah. do? Yeah. Uh, Old D try to, like, try to do the best. Then Mikey especially, like, I think he is, like, step, step in when, uh, while the Drew's out. So, yeah, I try to help him as well. Uh, Eddie played a big minute for us as well. So gotta gotta do it all together. It's uh, it's not easy, but we always gotta find a way. Well, you've been here for long enough now, but I've never asked you when you were growing up. Who did you watch, like uh, as a defenseman? Who as did you think? Yes. Uh, Nicholas Lindstrom. Yeah, that was uh, that was a guy who I've been watching pretty much the whole time. Detroit was were buzzing by that moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> had a pretty good team. So pretty yeah, nice. I were yeah I was watching them. What was it about his? What was about Nicholas's game? What, what, what did what did you like? What is what attracted to you Sol about him? Solid, strong, or always uh, the right things on the ice, like uh, reads when the games how the the game dictated and everything. Pretty good shot too. Pretty good defensive guy. So pretty much everything was on it. Like com complete, uh, complete. First goal of the season last night was a nice to to finally get that one off the off your back. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I'm not gonna say he didn't have many chances to score, but yeah, finally scored. So that that's good. Didn't help uh, the team wins, which is a little frustrating. But other than that, yeah, just gotta keep going on the shot and keep working on the shot too. I know that you've talked about playing on the right versus playing on the left before, but so many of your assists this season have come when you were on the right side. Is there any reason for that? Do you feel more comfortable offensively on the right versus the left? Well, probably you have a like uh, forehand all the time, like open, uh, open eyes, so you can you can see more. But um, yeah, I've played right when I grew up, pretty much all the time, uh, probably like ten or twelve years. So that w wasn't kind of new for me. Just like more, uh, like took a time to refresh that, you know. But other than that, I feel pretty comfortable playing left or right. It doesn't matter actually for me. When you look ahead into tomorrow against Columbus, what are keys for your team tomorrow for success? You gotta compete hard. Columbus is the hard team to play against, so uh, the big guys to <clears throat> come and come and on the forecheck hard. So we gotta be ready for that and use our chances, play clean, uh, try to make a place through the neutral zone and uh, share the puck in the D zone. So I think we'll be fine in the O zone. Any of those guys from Columbus that you still talk to or will see over tonight or yeah, big you? Russian crew over there. So we'll uh, we'll meet up for sure, just chat a bit. So yeah, some some other guys too. Like pretty, pretty much everyone still there since I uh, since I left. Some some of their younger guy younger guys like sit. They're really stepping forward, aren't they? In terms of their career. yeah yeah. I mean yeah. they tried they uh, really like Igor, yeah. yeah they like uh, got some confidence now. Got some minutes to play, so they're like they've been good and uh, yeah they are skill guys too. Like have a good shot. Marchenko really. Mm -hmm. Really skill and uh, Chinahop have a like uh, good wrister, so gotta be aware.